Hello techies. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to work with retrieve emails action. Now in this tutorial, we will learn how to process emails by using process emails action as part of email automation. First of all, we'll see what is the purpose of process emails action. Let us assume if you want to move the emails from one folder to another folder or you want to delete emails from the server or you have to mark emails as read. In these cases, we are going to use process emails action. There are four operations are available in the process emails action. What are they? First one, delete emails from server, marks email as unread, move emails to mail folder, and also we'll find mark emails as unread as well as move to mail folder. Now you may ask one thing, but how can we make mark emails as read? If you see in my retrieve emails, that feature is already available. If you see under the email filters, you can get the option mark as read. If you're going to make it as true, what will happen if the mail is unread while you are retrieving the emails, it will mark as read after once it has been retrieved. This is the feature already we are covering in the retrieve emails. All right. Now, whenever you are going to work with process emails, must and should we required to use retrieve emails because of without retrieving emails, emails by using retrieve emails action, we can't process the emails. All right. Now let me recap up with the retrieve emails before going to start with the process emails. Let's click on the retrieve emails. If you see, I'm going to use the IMAP server as imap.gmail.com and the port 993 I'm going to use. Enable SSL, I'm going to make it as true and username and the password I have given it for the respective Gmail ID. And after that, if you see the email filters, I am going to use mail folder as the inbox and I'm going to retrieve all the emails which are there in the Gmail. And I'm going to store the entire list of the emails in the retrieve emails flow variable. Now I want to process the emails so that what I'm going to do, I will drag and drop this process emails action onto the workspace. Now, first of all, we'll see the parameters. If you see the parameters over here, emails to process which emails you need to process as part of the retrieve emails. We have stored all the list of the emails in the retrieved emails, right? That is the flow variable. So I'm going to select that flow variable over here. And after that, you can see the operation. As I told you, we are having four different operations over here. One is delete emails from server, mark email as unread. And after that, move emails to mail folder. And you can see both the things, second and third option I have clubbed and fourth one is coming over here. Mark email as read and move emails to mail folder. All right. Now what I'm going to do, first of all, I want to use this operation mail emails to mail folder. Let me select that. And over here, if you see mail folders for the time being, what I will say is below is the folder, which I'm going to use it in my Gmail. I will create one folder. I will show you that. And after that, if you see IMAP server, these are the details which we have given in the retrieve mail that the same configuration details we will provide it over here. IMAP server, I'm having imap.gmail.com and after that port is 993 and after that enable SSL, I'm going to make it true. And after that username, learning technologies 2020 of gmail.com and I'm providing the respective password of that particular email ID. All right, now I'm going to click on save. Now by using this process emails, what I'm going to do, what are the mails I have read it as part of this retrieve emails, I want to move them to the respective folder that is Twilio. All right, now I don't want to make all the emails has to move to the particular folder, only respective email that is Twilio related. Let me show you that. If you see in my Gmail, I'm having Twilio related account related details. I'm having it. What I want to do this related Twilio related things. I want to move to another folder. Okay. Let me create another label over here. Create a new label. I'm going to say it as Twilio. All right. Let me create it. 
Now, in my inbox, what are the Twilio related emails that I'm having? I have to move them to the new label or new folder that is Twilio I need to do. All right. And now, how can I go ahead and do that? Now, while I'm going to retrieve the emails, I will make a email filters over here. I'm going to from field, I'm going to make it as help at the rate of twilio.com. Only related to from field, which I'm which I got it from the help at the rate of twilio.com, only that mails so I need to move to another folder. All right, let me click on save. Now, as a best practice, what we are going to do, we know the flow has been executed successfully or not. I'm going to use display message on my flow. I'm going to give the title as process emails. And after message to display, I will say it as simply completed. And then click on save. Now, before that, let me show you once again. In my Twilio folder, I don't have any mails over here. Now, let's run the flow to see the output. At the same time, I will keep this Gmail side by side to make you understand. Flow execution has been started. And you can see process email is in progress. And now it has been completed successfully. All right, let me refresh this once again, this Gmail. And now if you see all the mails which are related to the Twilio, which we have given as part of retrieving your emails has been processed or moved to some other folder that is with the name of Twilio by using process emails. All right. Now, we will learn about the another operation as part of process email that is mark emails as unread. Before going to do that, let me show you my Gmail once again. If you observe in my Gmail, I'm having few of the mails related to the blue prism. Okay. Now, if you see over here, blue prism, blue prism, I'm having two emails, which emails already read. Now I want to make this emails as unread. How can I go ahead and do that? Let me go back to Power Automate once again. Over here in the process emails, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the operation over here as mark emails as read. All right. When you select that one, I don't want to move any files over there. I don't want that option over here to move the folders, right? Now let me click on save. Before that, I'm having specific email right, related to the blue prism. So what I'm going to do in the retrieve emails, I'm going to give the filter over here as from field contains mail dot mail at the rate of blue prism dot email. I'm going to select that one to filter my emails. All right. I don't want to make all the emails as unread. All right. Now let me click on save. Now to see the output, let's run the flow. Flow execution has been started. And you can see process has been executed successfully. Now click on OK. Now let me refresh the Gmail once again. Now if you see over here, I'm having few mails over here related to the blue prism. One, two, three, all the mails have been marked emails as unread. All right. Now we will learn the third operation that is mark email as read as well as to move the emails to the particular folder. Now what I'm going to do as part of retrieve emails, I have fetched all the mails related to the blue prism and I have made them as unread. Now what I want to do, I want to unread the mails. Let me undo these changes over here. I'm going to mark them as read over here directly from my Gmail. Now what I want to do, I want to mark them as unread as well as I want to move them to the mail folder. All right. Now as part of retrieve emails, we have already set the configuration to retrieve the mails from the blue prism. And after that, from the process emails, what I want to do, I want to make them mark as unread as well as move to the folder. So when I'm going to select this option, it will ask for the folder name. I'm going to give it as Twilio right now because of I have already created this folder already in my Gmail. All right. Now let's click on save. Now to see the output, let's run the flow. Now, if you observe in my Twilio folder, I'm having only three emails as a part of the Twilio related. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm already started to retrieve the mails from the blue prism and I'm trying to mark them as unread as well as moving the folders to the Twilio folder. All right. 
the process has been completed successfully. Now let's refresh the Gmail once again. Now if you observe in my Twilio folder, that is, that is mail folder, we are having Twilio related emails as well as Blue Prism related emails, which has been retrieved as part of the retrieve emails. Along with that, if you observe these three mails marked as unread by using the operation marks email as read as well as the move to mail folder. All right. I hope you understand how to work with these three operations. That is move emails to mail folder, mark email as unread as well as mark email as read and move to mail folder. Now we'll talk about the final operation that is delete emails from the server. Now, if you observe in my emails, I'm few of the mails related to the Google security. Now, you know, let me click on that. If you see, I'm having some of the mails which are from the no reply at the rate of accounts.google.com. I want to delete these mails from my server. So what is the operation that we are going to use it? Delete emails from the server as part of process emails. Let's click on that. Now over here, what is the operation that we are going to select it? Delete emails from the server. And then I'm going to click on save. But if you observe in the retrieve emails, I'm having blue prism related emails. Now I want to change that email filters over there. Now from field contents, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give no reply at the rate of accounts.google.com. All right. Now let's click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and you can see it is trying to process or delete the emails from your server. Now process has been completed successfully. All right, let's click on OK. Now let me refresh my Gmail to know the output. Now, if you see over here, as part of the no reply at the rate of accounts.google.com, what are the mails that I have? All the mails have been deleted by using process emails. All right. I hope you understand how to work with process emails as part of this tutorial. And also we have learned how to delete emails from the server, mark email as unread, move emails to mail folder. And also we have seen the operation mark emails as unread and move to mail folders as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.